this is my oh my gosh it's so heavy seriously i don't know how i carry this every day okay hey guys what's up welcome back to my channel for those of you who don't know my name is addy and today i'm gonna do a requested video which is the what's in my bag video so i asked you guys the types of videos you would like to see so a lot of you actually mentioned a what's in the bag type of video. Today, I'm gonna try out this type of video. I am also trying out a different shade of lipstick if you haven't noticed. <laughs> what do you think? Let me know if you like this color on me. Let me know in the comments down below because I am also not quite sure about it, but I tried it anyway. Okay, so let's get on with the what's in my bag video. This is my... Oh my gosh, it's, it's actually way heavier than it looks. So this is my go-to bag for everyday things. <laughs> actually, I just switch up between this black bag or this white bag, which I am now using as a vase because I don't have one. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, it looks pretty good as a vase. So this is what I've been using lately. It's just a black leather phenol bag with texturized stuff on it so anyway since it's black it's easy to pair with anything I wear it's one of my favorite bags in the world no I'm just kidding it's just one of my favorite bags because um the brand where's the brand the brand is actually Fino and Fino has really durable bags which I love and which I need in my life because I really put tons of stuff in my bag so it has to be durable. Bargain shopper and me found this bag in a garage sale for just 500 pesos and I've been using it non-stop for months so I think I got my money's worth from that purchase. Let us check out what is in this small bag that is actually probably heavier than me. Okay, this is the reason why the bag is heavy because I carry around a Surface Pro, my best friend right now because I actually edit my videos on these so it's great that I can carry it around and it fits in this tiny bag. So yeah, so this is a Surface Pro 2, I think, then it even has a keyboard. Don't be fooled, this isn't mine, I just borrowed it because my Mac is so old it can't even edit videos so that is why I have that. And of course I also have a notebook so it's in pink because pink is so cute. Right, I love this. This has my hopes and dreams. No, I'm just kidding. It just has work stuff and blog ideas. I forgot to show you the inside of the bag. The bag actually has a lot of compartments. It has two pockets over here, two pockets over here, and the zipper pocket over here, and a really big area over here. So that is why this is the best bag for me right now. I never leave my house without my wallet. This is legit everything I need. It has my money, my cards, I even have medicine in here. So I will not survive without this wallet. My wallet and I are like this. We have never separated. I also have um, this, what is this? What, what are you? This is a power bank. I'm always late, so naturally there are things I forget to do which is of course charging my phone so having this in my bag is a lifesaver each pocket has a, has a specific use for me let's start with this one over here so this is just my makeup pocket so i have hand sanitizer i love carrying this around because i'm such a you know when you go to dirty places and you just need a quick cleanliness fix duo supreme powder this is my favorite face powder so i bring it around for touch-ups and all that stuff and of course, this is my favorite liquid lipstick. It is not real Kylie, but I love the shade on me, so I use it a lot. What else do we have in here? Oh, I also have my Boring Lippy Lip Balm. This is from Body Shop. I love it. It tastes really good, and it makes my lips red. And I also carry around this little Bulgari perfume sampler thing for those emergencies where you have to smell really good but you just can't bring around this big ass bottle of perfume that you really love my golden cop bomb i love this item it's it's basically my medicine for everything like if i if something bites me or if i have muscle pains or anything whatever if i get a headache i just reach for this and then i'm good after like five minutes so this is essential to my life. Like, I'm gonna die 
of pain if I don't bring this around. This compartment's pretty funny. If you're a guy, you're not gonna understand this, but I'm a regular, so I always bring a napkin with me because you never know. It just pops up at the most inconvenient times of my life. I always bring out some form of tissue wipes. One of the things I really can't live without, I I'm just so OC with things. Like if there's mud on my shoe or if someone steps on my shoe, I just, I'm not gonna be okay unless I clean it. I actually get it really cheap from Japan Home Center. You can buy like six of these for 88 or three for 88, something like that. The compartment over here just has my ball pens. This is the ball pen I usually use and this is the ball pen I used to use but it ran out of ink so I don't use it anymore but since it's just so pretty, I mean look at that, it's bedazzled and it looks so good with my notebook. I mean seriously, right? Now that I think about it, they look super girly together. I'm not gonna show you that anymore. This pouch actually has my earphones. I don't really like this pouch. Yeah, that was the only pouch I could find that could fit my earphones. I carry my earphones around, not even to listen to music actually, it's for my, for editing videos. I edit videos everywhere, in the car, on the street, wherever I'm gonna edit, so I really need earphones. Oh, I, <laughs> I also bring around this pocket Wi-Fi thing because I super need the internet and when my mobile data fails me, it's always gonna have a backup, especially since I Uber everywhere. This is essential. So check it out. This is my business card case. I love this. I actually got this from Nava. It's this store in Green Hills that I love going to. It's leather and then metal work over here. And it just keeps all of my business cards. I actually have two types of business cards. This is my marketing firm business card and this is my blogger business card so i carry these business cards with me everywhere i go because you know you never know who you're gonna meet you should always carry business cards we're down to the last pocket this is my favorite pocket so it actually has tons of candy and random stuff to eat because i am obsessed with sugar i kid you not i cannot go a day without eating sugar i am Deathly afraid of becoming diabetic because if I do, I'm totally gonna be unhappy with my life. Peter's butter balls. I love this. It's just like eating caramel butter. It's so good. This is super yummy. The mini Belgian voice. It's this little waffle snack thing, which I like. Gum and me a menthol ball. Why? Why do I have a menthol ball? Icebreakers. I love this one. I only eat icebreaker sours because. Uh, they're so good. If you've never tried this, there's something wrong with you. I always have like random Filipino treats because yeah, I'm in the Philippines. So right now I have these chocolate covered dried mangoes, which is super good. These were actually 10 in my bag and now they are just two. These are my last two actually. So I'm gonna save that. I really can't survive without candy. There are times when I feel super dizzy and it's because I just need to eat some form of candy. That is why I have a whole pocket dedicated to just candy. So we are down to the last one which is my zipper pocket. I actually like this pocket. It's like a secret pocket. The charger for the Surface Pro. My phone charger wire. I need a new one. Look at that. I just taped it. What? What is wrong with me? Seriously. Well. Sometimes I just forget that stuff are destroyed and that I have to fix them. This is the um, wall socket um, thing for the phone charger. In case my power bank fails me, I can use the wall socket to charge. I have this thing where I lose ponytails, so I just scatter them in different places. Like I have one in my wallet, I have one in the secret pocket, and then I have one in each bag. It's just something I have to put in all my bags. Oh, of course, my phone is always in my bag. I cannot leave the house without this. This is actually the most important thing that was not in my bag, but it's always actually it's always in my hand. That is it for my very first what's in my bag video. I hope you guys liked it. This is actually the first time I'm doing a video that you guys requested. So let me know what you guys think and let me know the other types of videos you would like me to try out. Just Leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, hello. 
um, please click the subscribe button if you would like to be updated on my other videos. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. I really appreciate it. I got pretty bored of the whole white wall thing, so I did this. <laughs> so let me know what you guys think of my new setup. I brought in my fur and my flowers over there and well, you can't see it, but I have a table over here. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time. Why do I keep doing hand gestures like these? Do they even look good? I don't know. Now it's becoming awkward. Okay, I have to stop it now. Yeah. I actually got it from a garage sale, so I have no idea what the original price is, but I want to know, so I'm going to check out their website right now. Load, 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 load. Okay, and Fino does not post their <laughs> price list on their website, but I can search for how much it costs to buy it secondhand because I bought mine secondhand and it's still pretty good. Whoa, what are these prices? Are you serious? So, a secondhand authentic Fino bag 7,000, 5,000, 6,000. Really, people? You really think people are gonna buy this bag for. I don't know, I'm sure other people, but seriously? Wow, this is. So this is an expensive bag, huh? But, you know, bargain shopper and me found this bag at a garage sale for just 500 pesos and I've been using it non-stop for months. So I think I got my money's worth from that purchase.